Let's look at a little bit more organization here by adding something that I'm sure you know about called keywords. Keywords can really help you because once you've added a keyword, you can come right up here, type the keyword in, and begin finding things, especially if you have folders that have tens of thousands of images. Now, it is a process that requires we have to do something, but there are some keywords that are more universal to a group as opposed to the individual images. For example, this folder has, as you can see in the lower left, 206 items. They are all from Key West. So the common denominator is they are all in Florida, in the United States, in a town called Key West. So let's do this. Let's look over at our keywords. We are in the Essentials workspace. We have events, birthday, graduation, and wedding. We've got some people, Matthew and Ryan, and some places. We've got New York, but we don't have Florida in there. So what I would like to do is create a keyword, Florida, in places. Now that's a sub keyword. You have two buttons down here. One to create a sub keyword within another keyword. One is to create the keyword itself, which would be like places. Now I am in places. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to call this Florida because Florida is where Key West is. So I've got Florida. I'm going to select Florida, not places. And I'm going to come down and do another sub keyword under Florida. Key West. Capitalization is not important for the search. So every image that is here so far is Florida and it's Key West. So if I come over here and say click right about there and press Command, and that's Command on a Mac, Control and Windows A, as in select all, I can then come over here and say everything is in Florida and everything is Key West. Now that's easy because they're all Florida and they're all Key West. And now if we come up here and search, we can find them. But let's take it just a little bit further. There is an area in Key West called Mallory Square. So I'm going to go into Key West and create another sub under Key West. You can take this as far as you want. And we're going to call that Mallory Square. Now let's go up here. I'm going to look for just a few. There's quite a few. But I know, for example, that this image right here was taken in Mallory Square, so I'm going to select it. This image here is Mallory Square, but I'm going to hold the Command key. That's Control in Windows, Command on a Mac, to do non-contiguous selection. I'm going to come down just a little bit further, and here's a bunch on Mallory Square here. Command or Control click, click, click. This one right here. This guy right here, doing a tightrope act, is on Mallory Square. We'll stop there. These already have Florida. They have Key West, but I'm going to add just to the ones I have selected, Mallory Square. So now I am creating keywords on my images. It takes a bit of time. If you've got already an accumulation of tens of thousands of images, but you think, I need to do keyboards, it is going to take you a bit of time to put them all together. But now that we start doing this, we can benefit from it by either typing things in up here like Mallory Square, but let me show you another area, and it's over here called Filter. Now, notice the word keywords? I'm going to open that up. The reason Florida, Key West, Mallory Square, and Water, that's another one I added earlier, are there is because they are added to the keywords in this folder. So Filter is completely dependent on what it sees. So if I go over here without typing it up there, that's a waste of time. I come right here and say, show me Mallory Square, and there they are. I can also say, show me Mallory Square and show me water, or click again on Mallory Square and just show me water. These are here because we're in that folder, but that's not all. If you look here, you've got orientation. It tells me 203 of the images are landscape and three of them are portrait. If I go into here, those are the exposure times. I can actually select images based on their exposure. Go ahead and collapse that one out. You have aperture, focal length, model, model of the camera, white balance, camera raw. When you're in a folder, keywords to me are indispensable. Take some time to put them together, but if you do them every time you load images, it's not that hard. There are some universal things like Florida, Key West. There are some things that are more specific, like I might go into the one with the tightrope walker and actually put in tightrope walker. The more you do this and the more specific that you get, 
the easier it's going to be for you to locate the images that you need to get your project done. Keywords and filtering over here. Nice to know you got them.